picture taken in your English class and back to the club photo. I'm Jesse Pollock. I'm Katya Lynn, and I'm in 10th grade. We're both in 10th grade, we're sophomores. You're best friends? Yes. Best friends forever. Do you want to see our oh, handshake? It's really okay, intense. Yeah. And done. <laughs> this is wow. See? And you can also do LOL. <laughs> and then there's... Mom! There's, there's Moo. All right, straight your head out just a little bit. Come down, down, Chin down. Over that way. Chin down just right a little there. bit. Relax, yes. relax. Down. Yes. down. Yes. We need to slide these up a little higher. Most kids submitted to Picture Day the way they submit to all other instructions that they're getting all day long from adults. Questions? About where they're supposed to go and what they're supposed to do once they're there. Give me some teeth again, man. Give me the teeth, man. Good job. Take seat. Feet towards that line. Feet that line there, please. They obeyed. But they didn't pretend to be happy about it. Good host. Right there. Big smile. Straight back. Body turn, body turn, body turn. Body, body, now turn your head. It just feels awkward though, sitting like that, like and you're all contorted. Yeah. Back tall, turn your face to the camera. Little head tip. Good, not too much. Watch me on it. Turn your face this way. Head yeah. tip. And watch me, watch me. Good. That's the right there. Hang out. Stay right there. Double. Good, thank you. Good job. School pictures are so forced, like it's not a picture about you, like... But it yeah. says a lot about you. Do, do you really think so? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Not really. Kind of, yeah. Kind of? Yeah, kind I do. Of. Turn your legs, turn your legs right to me. Tilt your head slightly this way. It's funny watching people having their pictures taken here. Because, you know, like, in the moments before the picture gets taken, so much happens, like on their faces, and they have so many different expressions. And then they shoot the picture. And in a way, the picture is kind of bland compared to everything that happens before and after. Yeah, everybody has the same facial expression. They're all the same way. Like, everybody's uniform. So your school picture is all fake. And if you get right down to it, most of what matters to you in high school, the stuff that your daily life is all about, who you are, what you feel, that is not going to be in the yearbook. Okay, sit up nice and straight, back straight. Like, so tell me about one of the dramas that's going on now that you're pretty sure you are going to remember. All right, it's kind of private, but I'll say it. Um, so I like this boy, 225. Uh, yeah, Mickey? we have code names. Mickey? No, not Mickey. Um, we have code names for boys, Wait. and I like this boy since session. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he's really cute. Yeah. Two, two, five. Two, 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 five. two, two, five. And he recently got a girlfriend. Turn your head to the side just a little bit. And so I was kind of upset because I heard that they had, like done some stuff. Nice, great, big smile. Gotcha. Who's next? Do you think it's possible you won't remember two, two, five someday? No, we will. I Definitely. We remember all our code names. We have a lot. Next, please. Have a seat. Well, what's been happening recently is I've discovered that I space out a lot. Um, my aunt is dying of terminal cancer, and I may want to be a psychologist or a jewelry designer, so. You've discovered all that in the last couple of months? Yeah, pretty much. Bigger smile, man. Bigger, bigger. Here you go. Next, please. Oh, here's a good one. Last Wednesday when I was coming out of school, there were some kids running around and saying, I'm gay, look, come in, look at me. Do you like men? I'm gay. Big smile. Good job. So you'll forget that and you'll be glad of it. Hmm. Hopefully I can forget it as soon as possible. One thing that I remember from last year that was kind of big, which kind of sucked, was my ex and I when we broke up. Yeah, I don't know. I still regret that, but it's okay. <laughs> Did you break up with her or did she break yeah. up with you? You broke up with her. I broke up with her. And you regret it? Yeah. Why? It's complicated. I felt like she was really getting on my nerves a lot and stuff like that, and I didn't try to work it out. Rather, I, I didn't, instead, I just broke up with her. I have a new girlfriend now. Yeah. But um, it's going all right. <laughs> you just think about the old girlfriend? Yeah. It's not good, but... <laughs> have you thought about going back with her? I've tried. And? No. No, really? She wouldn't. She said no. 
Not too sad now. No sadness. Here we go. Good. Do you think that, that you'll remember all this? Let's say 10 years from now? Definitely. Really? My ex-girlfriend, I'll definitely remember her. She was my first love. I talked to maybe three dozen kids over the course of the school day, and I'm not totally sure who it was who first mentioned sophomore Sydney Jill Watnick. She's really good to like go shopping with, and she's a really good friend. So You're sweet. Oh, I know Sydney Jill Watnick. <laughs> I love Sydney Jill Watnick. She's very happy. She talks a lot. Very energetic. She's kind of crazy. <laughs> she's not crazy. She's a fun girl. She's very outgoing. She's like loud and obnoxious, but like in a funny way. She brings fun to every situation. Is she the most famous person in your grade? Probably. At some point during the day, I realized I really wondered what this girl was like. Who is she going to turn out to be? This girl who everybody seemed to know. This girl who everybody had a position on. Okay. And, uh, and who are you? I'm Sydney Watnick. Sydney Jill Watnick? You want me? Oh, Sydney Jill Watnick. So you are Sydney Jill Watnick? Yes. You don't even need to be in the yearbook. People already <laughs> know you. <laughs> Thank you. I kind of try and make myself known. You actually try to? Like, I've moved seven times, and I've gone to a lot of different schools and had to meet new people. Oh, so you just got really good at making yourself known to new, yeah, new people. Yeah, kind of. I love meeting new people. It's fun. Also, uh, glasses just a little bit. Eyes right there. Eyes right here. Okay. Twist your head down just a little bit. Down a little bit. Down a little bit. Right there. What Sydney's picture doesn't show is the decisions that are weighing on her. She's deciding right now she wants to take the really hard advanced placement classes or get more involved in sports or maybe art. She's just old enough to choose who she'll be for the very first time. And it feels like there'll be consequences. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. You done? You're all set? Now, someday when you're older, do you think when you look back on your high school years, you'll remember these choices that seem so significant now? Um, probably not. Is that weird? Yeah, I mean, like, I've been in school since I was three. I can't remember the majority of things. Kindergarten, I remember walking in on the first day of school and in second grade I remember making Native American corn husk dolls but I don't remember anything else. Is it disturbing to think that things are so impermanent that they can just go away like that? Kind of, yeah, because like I think about this stuff and I think about my friends and probably I won't remember a lot of these people's names so like is my mind like disappearing like I've done so much and I don't even recall it. So where has time gone? Well, where has it gone? I don't know. The yearbook photo is such a puny shield against time, against the power of forgetting, which is bigger than all of us. A monster has put entire civilizations beyond memory. And it will eventually consume everything that we know, too. The only question is when. Is it going to be 100 years from now that nobody remembers anything of what we are? Or 200? We are not going to get around this. No matter how many pictures we take. <laughs>